want my notes. Um, <laughs> I, I write differently than some people. Um, I'm Brian Boggs, uh, co-founder of the Boggs Collective along with Melanie Boggs here. The Boggs Collective is a unique type of furniture company that is built much like other businesses, but it's built to create an ecosystem that supports the best of what we can do in furniture making. I started out making chairs 30 years ago, much like this, in a very different kind of scenario. I had $50 to set up a shop, and I did. I worked in the backyard. I'd take logs and split them up into pieces, carve each part with a, with a draw knife, and put it together the way they did 200 years ago, using no glue, just the movement of the natural materials. I wanted to work this way not just because I was too broke to buy real tools, but because I wanted to immerse myself into the, the material and the tradition of making furniture the old way to create a foundation for that. And I wove my stories as I went along and learned how to sell these and stayed busy for years and grew a shop into a six-man shop that was doing really great. We couldn't keep up with demand until the economy collapsed and I got slapped in the face with, wait a minute, there was something missing. We were doing great and all of a sudden, it wasn't just the economy. I'd been wanting to move to Asheville for 15 years and it wasn't until things had slowed down enough in my company that it shrank and then I could move it. So. I moved to Asheville and started really rethinking about what it was that had shifted and what it was that needed to shift so I could rebuild my business again and what it was that I would be doing that for. So <clears throat> I met with Culture Quest Consulting and Melanie Moeller's company and created a strategic plan that really outlined a way of building a company based on my values, what was important to me, and the reasons that I set out to be a creative chairmaker in the first place. And what we talked about was creating an ecosystem. And in an ecosystem, a good healthy ecosystem is responding to everything in and around itself in a way that it can always be sustained within that environment and within the resource limitations that it exists within. A healthy business does the same. It's sustainable because it is looking at the resources and the long-term use of those resources. It's looking with the human resources within its reach and the client base as the resource where the product's going. Building a, a company like that creates a scenario where we're looking at the best, you, the best source for natural resources. In this case, trees, where well, they're all in town and people are cutting them down all the time. So at this point, about 80% of our trees come from downtown Asheville, from arborists who we're going to take them to the dump. So we're taking on trees that way as much as we can. Our wood chips go to a chicken farmer, they bring us eggs. Some of our wood chips go to people that use composting toilets, but we don't trade with them. Our wood scraps go to Farm and Sparrow Bakery. They bring us bread. It's a great, fun community to work in that way. But most importantly, we needed a business that worked well enough to produce beautiful products with people that were available to us that wanted to do this kind of thing, but profitably. We had to move through everything that we did efficiently, just like systems in nature do. If they're not efficient enough, they die. So, what I realized and what we realized as we went along is that starts from not just a business design point, but from a product design. This chair was a perfect product for me starting out because it's an easy one to learn and I can move through it fluidly after six months of making chairs. Some of the products I make now are not that way, but we have a different ecosystem now. Now what we need to do is design things that can sell in the current market, that allow our, uh, our craftsmen to learn fairly quickly, and yet give us a profit margin that allows us to create a business that is solid. The uh, chair that she's sitting in right here is an example of something on the completely opposite scale. The joinery is unlike any I've ever heard of. A lot of techniques in this chair I've not seen anywhere, but we've developed a process within our shop that has allowed Charlie Marlowe 
who started working with us seven months ago, no furniture making experience. He's producing these chairs from rough lumber to ready to ship at a profit margin we've never seen before at a price point that competes with industrially produced furniture. So this is the kind of design we're building now, thinking from the get-go, how do we create something beautiful that flows fluidly through a system designed to support the people and acknowledge the integrity of our clients at the same process. So this is what the Boggs Collective is, and this is why we do it, because it just makes sense, and it's good for, and it's fun. So that's what we do.